The spark for Read Between the Lines happened many years ago, uh, maybe 12 by now at this time, at this point. Um, I was in the car with my, my husband who's driving and my son who's four years old. And we were at a traffic light and there was a car that had, was kind of going through the light without stopping. And so my husband beeped the horn and the, gar, the dr car's driver gave us the finger. And he was driving a station wagon. He had two little kids in the back seat, and I was horrified. Um, and I said to my husband, like, I can't believe this guy. He, I was so upset. And and I said, he did it in front of our son. And my son is completely clueless and had no idea what was going on. But anyway, it really upset me. And throughout the day, I kept bringing it up again. Can you believe that guy? I can't believe that guy. And my husband was like, you need to let it go. And so then at dinner that night, I, I brought it up again, and he said, what is it that's bothering you so much about this incident? And I said, I don't know. There's something about that gesture that almost feels violent to me sometimes. It's just so rude, and you think about what it means. Um, and so I started to think about how that gesture is used all the time in different ways. And just for kicks, I said, wouldn't it be funny to write a book where um, it was like a collection of short stories and each story explores a different way in which people give each other the finger, which is kind of silly and, uh, you know, whatever, it was just a funny idea. But just for fun between projects, I started writing some short stories and very quickly I realized as I got to know each of these different ten characters that I kind of roughly thought, oh, I'll use sort of a stereotype for each character will be the, the stereotype that we think of, like the bully, the jock. Um, the weakling, and then I'm going to write their story and I'm going to show you that there is no such thing as the bully, the jock, the cheerleader. I'm going to show you the other side of that story. And so I really started exploring them and it became much less about the finger and the gesture. That was just the structure around each of these stories because that gesture is a part of our life every day, but looking deeper, reading between the lines, um, you see how much more complicated we all are. And then on top of that, I wanted to show how each of these characters actually overlap each other's lives and influence, influence each other um, in ways that we don't even know. Half the time, you might say something to me and think it was very you know, just meaningless, really, but I took it to heart, and it could change the course of my day, it could change my life, and you would never know. And so I wanted to show how that actually plays out and explore that. And so it was, a, at first it started out as a project that was just for fun, but then it became deeply meaningful to me to try to show how empathy works and how um, looking deeper into each character really shows you that everybody has this other side that no one else but them knows. And we all see each other in different ways. And um, so I just, I really wanted to explore that and see how one day in the life of all these characters would play out.